Hey guys, if you're having any problems with your Google Nest Mini, there's a way to fix it. So let's say maybe your Spotify is not working anymore. So you're saying, hey Google, play Spotify. Your Spotify account needs to be linked first. And it keeps telling you stuff like that, although you unlinked it and linked it back up again, still not working. Or maybe you're asking it simple questions like, hey Google, what's the temperature? The temperature right now is 72 degrees. And maybe it keeps telling you the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and maybe you want it the other way around. And you already went to the app and tried to fix it from there. And yet it's still not working. Well, the last resort that we have to do in order to fix this, since we tried everything software-wise, which would include unplugging your Nest Mini from your wall outlet and then plugging it back in. Well, the last resort will be to reset it. So in order to factory reset, which don't worry about it, the setup's gonna be really fast since everything's in your Google Home app already. So don't worry about resetting, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's gonna wipe this clean, but all your information on your Google Home app, it's still gonna be there. So it's still gonna recognize your voice and stuff like that. So on the side, we do have this mute. So just turn on the mute. The mic's off. So it should tell you your mic's off. And then to reset, and just keep holding in the middle. Completely reset this device. Release to cancel. Until it tells you that. And just keep holding it. Until we hear that noise. From there, you can just let it go. And right now, it's being factory reset. So it's wiping everything clean. Then we just have to set it up again. Which is very easy. Since again, our Google Home app has all our information already. So our Spotify, Google Music, uh, anything else that you linked up to it will still be there, including your voice, which you guys have set up from before. So all we have to do in the setup process is just press yes, 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 I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, and that's it. We don't really have to reset up our voice or anything like that. It's all about saying yes, 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 and I'm gonna show you that right now as we go throughout this process. So this is the regular way to factory reset, and uh, even if it's not responsive, this is the way to fix it. So we should hear that. And then, Hi. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. We should the hear that. Up. Let's just go into our tablet for now, or your iPhone, Android device. Go into your settings. And then from there, we should go into our Wi-Fi and just look for Nest Mini. So that should be popping up. There's my Nest Mini. So we're connecting up to our Nest Mini right now. Then just make sure your Google Home app is closed. So you have to kind of reopen it. So here's my Google Home app. I'm just going to tap on it. And then it's gonna tell me choose your home. It's gonna go next for now. So that should be my first screen. Then it's gonna tell me connect to Nest Mini. Like I mentioned before, it's all about just hitting yes, next, 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 next. We did hear that noise, so yes, I'm in. From here, just choose your region, so it depends where you guys are from. Once you choose your region, again, next. Then choose where this was at. So I think this was probably my living room. And I'm gonna go ahead and press next. After that, we should see something like this, connect to Wi-Fi, just choose your own Wi-Fi. So the same one that you've been using from before. Go ahead to next, and we should see this screen where it's saying connecting to Wi-Fi. From here, it's gonna be very, very easy, because right now, once you connect to your Wi-Fi, that means it's gonna hook up to your app as well, which means everything's gonna sync up really nicely, and we just have to hit next, 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 yes, 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 and we're done with the setup. So right now it said connected, which is exactly what we want. Then, yeah, it's about to hit next. We're just gonna wait on that. So set up Google Home Assistant. But hey, we already did this, so we just have to activate that. So I agree. I'm gonna put I agree again. And it should tell you that your assistant can already recognize your voice. Because we already done this. And view more. I'm gonna hit next, next. And yeah, so it's just asking us a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna put not now for now. And then we should see this screen where I'm actually gonna go no thanks, because that's all about just getting spam out and I'm not about that. The last screen should say almost done. Then you just have to repeat your stuff, just go next. Again, next, next. It's just telling you all the stuff that you already know about your Nest Mini. And don't forget to turn on your microphone. Very important, so we're gonna do that right now. So on the side, even before we begin our setup, we should have turned it back, back on, but it's no big deal. Right now it's back on, just go next. And right now it should tell me living room speaker is ready. So I can just go ahead and continue on. 
Don't tell me all the usual stuff. Finish setup. And here we go. There's my living room speaker. So at this point in time, if I tell it, for example, the other stuff, such as, hey Google, play Spotify. Sure, music on Spotify. Here you go. You can always ask me to pause what's playing. So obviously I'm not gonna play music. I just paused it right away. because of copyright issues for obvious reasons. <laughs> However, you guys could see that it was starting to play Spotify. It told me that everything was fine. Um, same deal if I tell it, you know, hey Google, what's the temperature? The current temperature in Hamilton is 22 degrees. So right now it's finally telling me in Celsius, which is what I want. You guys may want it in Fahrenheit, but this should fix that issue as well. Anyways, this will fix any issue really, but if you keep having problems with this, yeah, it might be time to contact Google and see what's going on. They will assist you throughout. What I can tell you is that they will ask you to do exactly what I just told you right now, so that you're gonna have to redo it again. Plus, you might have to send them out a ticket so they can actually look over your Nest Mini and see what's going on. So they're gonna tell you just leave it plugged in, and we're gonna see what's going on with this thing and guide you throughout. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.